Welcome, everybody, to this special presentation of the province's rapid antigen test. Let's get started. Hi, everybody. So we are going to take you through how to perform the rapid test at home. And so today we're going to be demonstrating the BTNX rapid test that are available in select pharmacies. You can go on to the Alberta government's website and it'll give you a list of pharmacies that are supplying these. Uh, I believe that is one box of tests for everybody every two weeks and make sure that you go with your ID and Alberta healthcare card when you go to pick up these boxes. So today we're gonna go through step-by-step step on how to test yourself with these, this test. Uh, so first, Michelle, the most important thing is we're gonna wash our hands uh, before you do anything. Always good to have hand hygiene, even though you are testing yourself, which is a good practice, uh, especially if you're testing somebody else in your family. Um, and then we're going to make sure that we have all of the components of the test with us, as well as uh, a box of Kleenex. So first things first, um, as Michelle, I'll have to hold up the box again. Important piece of this box is, and we'll get to this a little bit later, some perforation that you'll see on the top uh, right hand side of the box. Uh, those are important. That's going to be that place that can hold the tube that you're using for testing. So make sure that you don't just rip this box open and that you make sure you have that area available to you as you do the testing. Now the other components of this test are going to include the swab, uh, which is prepackaged. Okay. Uh, another piece is going to be the reagent. So the reagent in these ones, uh, in this box, comes in these little individual use tubes. So you're going to be using all of the contents of that tube uh, when we do our testing. Uh, and then the tube itself, that is going to be where we collect the reagent, uh, and then we're going to be closing it and then nozzling it, and using the nozzle dropper to drop onto the uh, actual standard test. And then the test itself, which we will open when we get to it. Okay. So we want to make sure we have a clear space on a counter so that we have enough space for everything because everything needs to be done in order and in a fairly timely manner. The first thing I'll have you do is open your test so you have it ready to go. And I'll explain the test while we, before we get there. So on the test, you'll see a C and a T and you'll see a little area that has a place to drop uh, the fluid into. So C stands for control, and this is a really important piece of the test. So when we do get to the part where we drop the test into this strip, the control line should appear after about 20 to 30 seconds. If the control line does not appear, then the test is defective and you need to try another test or uh, go to a PCR test uh, if you feel like you are uh, having symptoms or have COVID. The T is for whether or not you're positive or negative. So if the T area remains uh, with no line after 15 minutes, it means that the test is negative. If there's even the faintest line at that T, it means it's positive and that you need to proceed for a PCR test for confirmatory purposes, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that down, we're gonna get our tube and our reagent package open. And it's just a uh, kind of twist off top there. Okay, and then we're going to um, drop that into the tube uh, and you're gonna use all of the reagent for one test. You should not have any left over. And as you see, Michelle has used the box as her stand so that she's not having to try to balance with both of her hands. There we go. So now the tube is ready to go. Next step is the testing. So we're gonna take the swab out of its package. Now, if you're doing this on your own, um, certainly you're going to want to make sure that you've got Kleenex nearby and ready to go. Uh, if somebody else is going to be doing it for you, just be ready as well with the Kleenex I suppose. Um, so we're going to open the swab. And in this test, we're going to be actually swabbing both of your nostrils. And so the way to set up for this is you want to tilt your head back about 70 degrees. So essentially, uh, kind of as far back as your neck can go. And you're going to take the swab and you're going to insert it into the first nostril. Uh, fairly deep, and you're going to swab five times. You're going to go to circular motion five times. Once you're done with that, you're going to move over directly to the next nostril and do the same thing for five cycles. Okay, and now you're done. So now you're going to take that swab and go back to your tube. You're going to put it right into the tube, and you're going to swish it around five times. So you want to make sure that all of the sample gets into that reagent. Once you've done the swishing, 
there should be a perforated notch on the, the swab itself that you can break off. There you go. And now you've got your, your swab inside your tube. It does come with a lid that we're going to place onto the tube, which serves as a dropper as well. Okay, so we've got a dropper on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our test. And if Michelle, you can hold that back up again, I'm just going to show where the drops go. So you see the little circle at the bottom. We're going to put in five drops there. Uh, although I think this does say three drops. Um, I would say three to five drops you want to put in there. And make sure that you don't get it on anywhere else. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. You want to make sure that you lay it flat. You don't want to hold it up vertically at this point. And after about 20 to 30 seconds, you should see that control line show up. What you may notice is the fluid goes across the test and may show a different um, uh, color to the test, but it will clear up. And as long as you see the control line, you will be able to know that the test is effective. So you can see that the the fluid is moving through the test. That is okay. It's okay for it to show pink throughout. The pink will clear up and you'll be left with just the control line. You want to set your timer for 15 minutes at this point and walk away, go do something else. Uh, and once the 15 minutes is up, you can come back and check your test. And like I said, if even if the faintest line is there by the T, that would be considered a positive rapid test. And instructions would be at that point is to call 811 or go on AHS to book your PCR test. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. And again, from all of us at Pop AB, happy holidays. Stay safe, Alberta. And as always, remember, COVID-19 is airborne. Wear the best mask you have access to. Respirators make excellent stocking stuffers. And vaccines really do save lives. 